Welcome, my friend. Allow this practice to be a calming, meditative, reflective experience. Let this be a practice of stillness and deep work within your physical and emotional body. Appreciate the emotional and muscular releases that the long duration of the yin asanas provide, deepening the awareness of your body and emotional well-being. Simply observing, not challenging what is, letting it be, supporting you returning to peace. Have all your props nearby, yoga bolsters, firm pillows, yoga blocks, ensuring the space you are practicing in supports this calm, meditative intention. I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll begin today's practice in Wide Knees Child's Asana. So make your way towards the back of the mat. Bring big toes to kiss and knees open as wide as feels comfortable in your body. And that you can hold without fidgeting or adjusting for the longer hold. Option to place a bolster between your legs to rest your torso to additional support and grounding. When you are ready, walk your palms forward to melt your torso through center. Arms extend long or take them back alongside your body, whatever feels best in your body today and promotes you being able to surrender yourself. Ground your forehead and slowly rock it side to side, feeling your forehead's connection to the earth. Smooth, nourishing breaths. And soften into stillness. Soften through your hands, your arms, shoulders relaxing away from your ears. Your neck is soft. Let your belly drape through center. Soften, letting it expand as it needs to. Relax through your hips, your thighs. Give all your weight over. Feel where your body is grounded and kissing the earth. Intentionally surrender yourself here in this safe space you have created for yourself.
your palms to the mat if they're not already. And with attention remaining inward, slowly walk your palms back, rising chin to chest. Pausing for a moment once you're lifted. Feel the nourishment of your time in that asana settling into your being. We'll be moving into winged dragon, so make your way to hands and knees. And step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Glance at your right knee, that front knee, to ensure it's aligned with your ankle. Then adjust your back leg, maybe sliding it back, allowing your hips to lower down into the pose. And feel a nice stretch in that left hip and thigh. If you are on a hard surface, you may find patting up that back knee would be helpful as we will hold this for an extended time. Then draw your attention back to your front leg. Flex your front foot and externally rotate as you fan your knee open, rolling to the outside edge of your front foot. Now you can stay lifted and maybe place blocks underneath your palms to soften if you'd like. Or for a deeper stretch, you can lower to your forearms. Let gravity take hold and weigh that right leg down. Soften through your facial muscles, through your neck, your shoulders. Allow all muscles to release that are not needed to support you holding this asana, especially those that are opening, lengthening, and releasing. Soften throughout those. Observe where your body has landed in this asana, placing no judgment without trying to move deeper, just observing what is, appreciating what is, finding a sense of peace for what is in this deep hip stretch. If untouched emotions surface, let them be my friend. Let them flow. Observe. When emotions are repressed, our body may store them in our deep connective tissue, which is exactly what we are focusing on in our yin practice. Yin asanas can help to gently dissolve those body's traumas, and in the process, heavy emotions can arise. So if and when feelings arise or memories come up throughout our practice, observe them. Accept what is. Try not to change or escape them. Notice what you are feeling with each area of your body. Which area of your body is sore? How does your breath behave? You may find it helpful to note which chakra lies in the area of your body, as this may be an area that needs a little more love and attention to support returning to balance. With this one, we are targeting our sacral chakra, if what surface feels like too much to bear, whether physical or emotional, that's okay, my friend. You might not be ready yet. Make note, whether that's physically or mentally, to return to it some other time or maybe speak about it with a health professional. Please keep this in mind as we hold each asana today. begin to move out of this asana if you're if you're lowered to your forearms slowly rise and with control return your solo foot to the mat with loving kindness slowly step your front foot back and take a few hip circles releasing feeling into the effects of that asana Before we take it over to the second side, we are going, going to come into side seal. So let's tuck your back toes and press up like you're coming into plank pose. Then fan your heels to the left side. 
and lower your left hip to the earth, aligning your right hip on top of your left. Your, hand, your right hand grounded in front of you. Stack your feet. To make this less intense, you can walk the hand out farther or lower down onto your forearm. Explore and notice what feels best in your body. Once you have it, lengthen your tailbone towards your heels as you lengthen up through the crown of your head. And then sink a little bit into your shoulder to deepen the stretch in the left side body. Come to a point of stillness within, settling into the stillness, settling into your breath. To come out with control, soften your forearm to the earth and roll onto your belly like you're coming into Sphinx Pose. And then slowly press yourself back for a moment in child. We will take those two asanas to the second side. So make your way to hands and knees, preparing for Winged Dragon. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Glance at your front knee to ensure it aligns with your ankle. And adjust your back leg, sliding it back if needed to allow your hips to lower into the asana. Pat up that back knee if needed. Draw your attention to your front leg. We'll flex that foot and externally rotate to fan your knee open, come to the outside edge of your front foot. Explore which variation with your arms feels best on this side. Staying lifted, placing blocks under your palms, or going deeper by lowering to your forearms. Once you find your position with your upper body, let gravity take hold and weigh that left leg down. And then we'll soften throughout your face, throughout your neck, your shoulders relaxing back and down. Allow all muscles to release that are not supporting holding this. Observe where your body has landed, placing no judgment and without trying to force your body to move deeper. Just observe it as what is, appreciating what is. Finding a sense of peace or what is in this deep hip stretch. If 
untouched emotions surface. Let them be my friend. Let them flow. Observe. Noticing if you experience anything different on this side compared to that of the first side. Begin to move out of this asana. If your lower chi or forearm slowly rise, and with control, so return your solar foot to the mat. With loving kindness, slowly step your front foot back and take a few hip circles, releasing, feeling into the effects of that asana. We'll move into side seal on the second side. So tuck your back toes and press up like you're coming into plank pose again and then feign your knees to the right side. Lower your right hip to the earth and align that left hip on top of the right. Stack your feet. Explore what position feels best with your upper body on this side. And then once you have it, lengthen your tailbone towards your heels as you lengthen up the crown of your head. Sink a little bit into that shoulder to deepen the stretch in that right side body. And then come to a point of stillness within my friend. And settle into that stillness. Settle into your breath in this asana.
come out with control. Soften your forearm to the earth. Roll onto your belly like you're coming into Sphinx. And slowly press yourself back for a moment in child. taking hero asana next with support so we are targeting our quads and ankles in this one um, but i would also like to focus this on our heart chakra so we'll set up blocks to help target that so place a block where your head will rest to on the lowest setting and then the block that will rest between your shoulder blades and we want this on the medium height if you don't have blocks a pillow or bolster will do the trick then make your way to hands and knees, knees under your hip points, then fan your feet a little wider than hip distance, and slowly lower your hips back into the space between your heels. Glance at your knees to ensure they align with your hip points. Then from here, begin to lower yourself back, adjusting your blocks or your bolster as needed. We want your head will be a little bit lower than your heart center here. Lift your hips and then lengthen your tailbone to the space between your knees and before you return your hips to the earth. Noticing if and how, making that slight adjustment change the sensations of this asana. Arms at your side, taking up as much space as you would like. Shoulders softening away from your ears. Let your body be heavy. Listen and feel your body and all the sensations. Observe the mind. Observing what is. And finding peace in all that you are. In all that is.
will gently come out of this pose, first by bringing your forearms to the earth, and then go to tuck your chin to your chest, press down through your forearms to slowly rise. Make your way to hands and knees, bring your feet off to one side, and make your way to an easy seat. From here, we are going to take shoelace with our legs and then eagle arms. So this will be a very deep stretch and intense. So set the intention to tune into your body and honor it right where it's at rather than trying to force it into extremes. Honor what is. We will begin by bringing your right leg on top, bringing your heel near your hip, and then bring your left heel near your right hip. Knees will stack one on top of the other. If this is too intense, you can align one shin, your right shin, in front of the left. Adding in eagle arms now. So breathe in to open your arms wide. And on the exhale, sweep them through center, your right arm on top, bind your arms once, bringing them back, bringing the back side of your palms together, or you can bind them twice by bringing your palms towards one another. Now, if this is too intense for you to hold in stillness without fidgeting, that's our goal, my friends. Your hands then can soften to grasp the, out, the opposite shoulders. Honor your body, my friends. Honor what is. So then we'll lift your elbows, gently press your palms away, and soften your chin down towards your chest, relaxing throughout your shoulders, throughout your neck. Shoulders are away from your ears. Stay present in your body as we hold, observing your breath. If it's short and shallow, you may wish to soften the asana a little so you can take long, slow, nourishing breaths, observing the sensations within your body, observing what surfaces as we hold and breathe. Slowly lift your chin, and on your next inhale, oh, unwind your arms and open them wide side to side. Lift your heart. Stretch it out here for a moment, and then soften. Unwind your legs, and we'll take it over to the second side. Aligning your left leg on top this time, knees stacked, heels near your hips. If you notice this side has a different level of flexibility than, than the first side, honor what this side needs, adjusting as needed. Let's add in our arms. So on your next inhale, open those arms nice and wide. Then exhale, sweep them through center your left on top this time. 
find your arms once or twice, or soften hands to grasp the opposite shoulders. Gently lift your elbows, press your palms away, soften chin to chest, relaxing through your neck, through your jaw. Shoulders soften away from your ears. Stay present in your body as we hold, observing your breath, observing the sensations within your body, observing what surfaces as we hold and breathe. Slowly lift your chin and on your next inhale, open your arms wide side to side, lift your heart, feel it out and soften. Unwind your legs and bring both soles of feet to the mat. Windshield wiper your knees side to side a few times. your way to hands and knees. Make sure you have your yoga blocks nearby and slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Take your blocks and align the blocks on medium or the lowest setting in this space where your shoulders lie. When you are ready, we'll rest your shoulders to the blocks and then ground your forehead to the earth. You may lower or want to explore the blocks on a different height. Feel free to explore. We just want to make sure that your forehead is grounded, your third eye chakra grounded to the earth as we hold. Rest your arms back alongside your body, palms face up. Settle into stillness. Feel where your body is kissing the earth and give all your weight over. Let go. Your breath may be sent to the space of your upper back.
my friend. Slowly return your palms to the mat, press down to lift just enough to remove the block and return yourself to the mat. In your own time, slowly roll onto your back. We're moving into a reclined butterfly to close our practice. Bring your soles of feet to kiss. Allow gravity to take hold of your legs. Let's bring your fingertips to interlace at the crown of your head, subtly drawing attention to the space of your crown chakra. Slowly slide your arms down, slowly extend your leg out long, one at a time for Shavasana. This was your time of self-discovery, of self-healing. Now allow yourself these final moments for the nutrients of our practice to settle in and integrate into your being, upon your physical, mental, and emotional body. Feeling your body in peaceful stillness here in these final moments.
slowly bring one solar foot to the mat and then the other. One at a time, draw your knees into your chest and then roll over to your right side. Take a full deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow, complete exhalation out your nose. And with attention remaining inward, make your way to a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, let's draw your attention inward. Observing your being now compared to when we first stepped together on the mat today. Breathe in, circle your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss, bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Leave a comment below of hashtag peace if you are feeling at peace. Please throw the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to help bring our content to the top and spread those feel-good yoga love vibes. So much love from my heart to yours.